Kevin Amos Carson born 1963, is an American author, anarchist and political theorist on the topics of mutualism, individualist anarchism, left libertarianism and freemarketism. He graduated from the University of Arkansas in 1987. Research career In November 2008, Carson became a research associate at the Center for a Stateless Society as the Center's first paid staff member. Additionally, he holds the Center's Carl Hess Chair in Social Theory. Since January 2009, Carson has produced several studies and commentaries for the Center. Ideas <inaudible> 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 Free markets versus capitalism Unlike some other market anarchists, Carson defines capitalism in historical terms, emphasizing the history of state intervention in market economies. It is state intervention that distinguishes capitalism from the free market. Carson does not define capitalism in the idealized sense, but says that when he talks about capitalism, he is referring to what he calls actually existing capitalism. He believes that laissez-faire capitalism, historically speaking, is an oxymoron, but has no quarrel with anarcho-capitalists who use the term and distinguish it from actually existing capitalism. In response to claims that he misuses the term capitalism, Carson has said he deliberately resurrected what he has claimed to be an old definition of the term in order to make a point. He has claimed that the term capitalism, as it was originally used, did not refer to a free market, but to a type of statist class system in which capitalists controlled the state and the state intervened in the market on their behalf. Carson holds that, c capitalism, arising as a new class society directly from the old class society of the Middle Ages, was founded on an act of robbery as massive as the earlier feudal conquest of the land. It has been sustained to the present by continual state intervention to protect its system of privilege without which its survival is unimaginable." Carson argues that in a truly laissez-faire system, the ability to extract a profit from labor and capital would be negligible. Carson has argued the centralization of wealth into a class hierarchy is due to state intervention to protect the ruling class, by using a money monopoly, granting patents and subsidies to corporations, imposing discriminatory taxation and intervening militarily to gain access to international markets. Carson's thesis is that under an authentic free market economy, the separation of labor from ownership and the subordination of labor to capital would be impossible, bringing a more egalitarian society in which most people could easily choose self employment over wage labor. Carson has written sympathetically about several anarcho capitalists, arguing that they use the word capitalism in a different sense than he does and that they represent a legitimate strain of anarchism. He says, most people who call themselves individualist anarchists today are followers of Murray Rothbard's Austrian economics, and have abandoned the labor theory of value." With the release of his book, Studies in Mutualist Political Economy, Carson aimed to revive interest in mutualism. In his book, he attempts to synthesize Austrian economics with the labor theory of value, or «Austrianize» it, by incorporating both subjectivism and time preference. Topic. Anarchist without adjectives In recent years, Carson has moved away from the «individualist», «mutualist» and «free market» anarchist labels, not so much because he repudiates any of their major tenets, but because he has come to see them as excessively constraining and to reject any monolithic economic model as the defining template for a post-capitalist society. He now prefers the label anarchist without adjectives." Counting among his major influences Michel Bowens and other writers on peer production, autonomist Marxists like Antonio Negri and Nick Dyer Withford and Eleanor Ostrom's thought on natural resource commons. <laughs> <laughs> Vulgar libertarianism Carson coined the pejorative term, "...vulgar libertarianism." 
to describe the use of free market rhetoric in defense of corporate capitalism and economic inequality. According to Carson, the term is derived from the phrase, vulgar political economy, which Karl Marx described as an economic order that deliberately becomes increasingly apologetic and makes strenuous attempts to talk out of existence the ideas which contain the contradictions existing in economic life." Carson writes, vulgar libertarian apologists for capitalism use the term, free market, in an equivocal sense, they seem to have trouble remembering, from one moment to the next, whether they're defending actually existing capitalism or free market principles. So we get the standard boilerplate article in the Freeman arguing that the rich can't get rich at the expense of the poor, because that's not how the free market works, implicitly assuming that this is a free market. When prodded, they'll grudgingly admit that the present system is not a free market, and that it includes a lot of state intervention on behalf of the rich. But as soon as they think they can get away with it, they go right back to defending the wealth of existing corporations on the basis of free market principles. Much of Carson's writing is dedicated to critiquing other writers whom he perceives as vulgar libertarians. A sporadically recurring feature on his blog is called Vulgar Libertarian Watch. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Intellectual Property and Agriculture. Carson has been highly critical of intellectual property. In 2014, he wrote a piece for Counterpunch drawing attention to the fact that the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture was investigating the Pennsylvania Seed Library for agri-terrorism. The department was considering whether the library's seed-saving practices violate the Seed Act 2004. In 2016, the department decided that seed libraries and noncommercial seed exchanges are not subject to the requirements of the Seed Act. Criticisms Economist and anarcho-capitalist Walter Bloch has characterized Carson as a Marxist for his embrace of labor value exploitation theory and argued that Carson's philosophy is full of errors, mostly due to his acceptance of the labor theory of value. Bloch has commented that for someone in this day and age to even take this doctrine seriously, let alone actually try to defend it, is equivalent to making a similarly widely and properly rejected position vis a vis the flat earth, or the phlogiston theory. It is, in a word, medieval." Carson alleges that Bloch misrepresents many of his views and probably did not actually read his book. Auburn University professor and Center for a Stateless Society senior fellow Roderick T. Long has criticized Carson's claim that full private property rights do not stem from the concept of self-ownership and presents an argument that if one accepts self-ownership, as Carson does, then non-Lockean proviso homesteading rights must be accepted. However, Long has accepted the concept of public property as valid and written that communities may acquire land by collectively homesteading, which could provide a basis for no proviso Lockeans to recognize as legitimate the property arrangements of mutualist, Georgist, and proviso Lockean communities." In 2012, Derek Shannon wrote that while he agreed with Carson's criticism of the state violence used to enforce capitalism, he felt that Carson's solution—to eliminate the state—would not bring about a society free of all forms of oppression. Topic publications Carson has published several books and produced articles for a range of publications, including The Freeman, Ideas on Liberty, Counterpunch, Land and Liberty, Just Things and The Ecologist. His writings have also appeared on the web at the Art of the Possible, P2P Foundation blog and Antiwar.com. The Anarchist FAQ has cited his work on political economy. The primary focus of his most recent work has been decentralized manufacturing and the informal and household economies. Selected works The Iron Fist Behind the Invisible Hand 2001. Austrian and Marxist Theories of Monopoly Capital 2004. Contract Feudalism 2006. Studies in Mutualist Political Economy 2007, includes theoretical sections attempting to integrate marginalist critiques into the labor theory of value and was the subject of a symposium in the Journal of Libertarian Studies Organization Theory, A Libertarian Perspective 2008. 
The Ethics of Labor Struggle 2008. The Great Domain of Cost Plus, The Waste Production Economy 2010. The Homebrew Industrial Revolution 2010. The Desktop Regulatory State 2016. Topic. See also Anarchist economics Cost the limit of price Left-wing market anarchism Post-scarcity economics Prosumer <laughs>